why did I go and have sex with someone after they had picked me up on their roof, swung me over the roof, and then dangled me by my legs like three stories above the ground. Why did I do that to myself? I'm saying this for me, not for you, for me, what I'm about to say. When I said my intention is to shine and as I shine that I can be a positive reflection for you and you can shine. And as you shine, I feel more lightness of spirit And we get to shine together. And maybe as we shine together, our light, our consciousness brings delight and joy to someone else. And I said in this journey, in the introduction, I said, I'm going to say some things that will surprise me and shock me. I've just shocked myself because I never thought that I would go and share that. My soul is telling me to share this because someone listening, maybe they didn't have the same experience as me, but they can relate. I was a teenager at the time when this happened. I think I was, I'm trying to remember exactly, I was 18 or 19 years old. And this goes back to the theme of social climbing because this person was an executive in the music industry representing really cool bands. And because I thought they were cool and because of the part of me that was social climbing, put myself in that situation. I mean, anyone, I mean, I think someone that had a sense of self, that had good self-esteem would not go to bed with someone who had could basically, have, I mean, he could have dropped me. He could have easily dropped me. And I remember then when, I remember I was dangling upside down and I, I can't remember what time it was. I mean, maybe it was like one or two in the morning and just seeing the cobblestones below and saying, pick me up, pick me up. But, but I think there was, when it happened, there was some part of like exhilaration or high of being on the edge, that it was dangerous. There was some part of me that I only have had one detention in my life. I've I've never got into trouble with the law. And but there's some part of me that I guess was attracted to to danger. And and so I think that when I was pulled back onto the roof, there was just this feeling, this high and but I was in shock. And then, and the sex wasn't even good. It wasn't even worth it. And then years later, that person reached out to me on Facebook and they're bald and they're overweight. See, so look at me being all judgy and, and they're married and they have kids. And I think back to that time, I could have died that night. And then afterwards, I told my best friend, one of my best friends at the time, who was friends with him too, he said, what happened? She said, oh, don't make that up. You're lying. Like, he'd never do that. But he did. I, what could I have done to avoid putting myself in that situation? Yeah, I need to go quietly to the looking glass. I need to go through the looking glass to be able to get the answer to this. And I have some hope. I feel like the answer will come. I don't do anything crazy in my life now, but that can get reactivated. That 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 side when if, and I've seen this with a number of people that I know, that if they have a dissatisfaction or discontent in their life and it gets bottled up, then they go and do dangerous things. Maybe things that where they'll act out in a relationship or they'll just push things to the edge. People 
maybe that you know, or maybe you are one of those people yourself that has gone to the edge that you could sabotage yourself. And I can tell you, I, I have definitely sabotaged myself at times in my life. And that was a time that I'm just horrified that I could have done that to myself, that I could have allowed myself to be treated that way. And I hope, I pray, as I reflect upon this, that I can forgive myself for not protecting myself, for not just walking out and leaving, or for reporting him to the police. But then if I hadn't had that social climbery thing in me, because I was attracted to him being a record executive, that I wouldn't have even gone back there in the first place. I could have made a different choice. Yeah, I could have made a different choice. I need to reflect upon what things happened prior in my life that led me to that moment where I did that. I don't know if you can relate to this with a situation you've put yourself in. I'm going to just, I I guess I just need to be with the discomfort. There's times where where many years ago when I would do Reiki healing with clients when I first moved to Santa Monica, it was actually when, well, I wasn't living here full time then that I was, I was visiting, going back and forth from England. And I remember there was someone I worked with and I was doing healing on her and we were clearing pain. And then I was like, we got to stop. And she was like, can't we just keep going? I'm still in so much pain. And, and I just said, we need to just stop now. We, you need to process what we've just done so that you don't then go into healing crisis. And so sometimes we have to sit with uncomfortable things and not have all the answers and to be patient. And I'm not naturally patient. Thank you for reflecting with me, listening to me, seeing me. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am Joanna Garzilli. I really hope that I get to see you next time. And I look forward to sharing some really good, cool, magical insights. That's that's what I'm setting the intention for. <laughs>